Hey, this is Paul from Mobile Trans Wondershare, and how are you doing today? And today's video is about something which we get a lot of comments about, and this is because this is really quite popular. As modern day phones get bigger and better in terms of recording capabilities and taking better photos, sometimes your storage is not up to the amount of videos and photos that you want to take, because sometimes you want to capture a memory right there, right then, and you can't because there's not enough storage on your phone. So that's what today's video is all about. I'm showing you how for Android and iPhone that you can actually move any of your photos or any of your videos over to an SD card. And if you've never been here before and seen the Mobile Trans channel, then why not subscribe to the channel? And of course, turn that bell notification on as well. And then if you do all of that, that means you'll always get notified when we do a new video. But for today's video, let's get into it. Okay, well, let's start with a couple of methods for Android phones. And if you're using an Android phone, did you know that sometimes you can get a micro SD card and you can pop that into the phone, which can then sometimes give you up to one terabyte of storage on some Samsung devices. And on others, you can get up to 512 gigabytes of storage. But sometimes moving those files that you already have on your phone can just be a bit of a nightmare. And that's not something that we want for you guys watching this video. So let us show you a first method and how you can move your files, your videos and pictures from your phone to that external micro SD storage. To begin, make sure you insert your SD card into your phone. You then need to navigate to the top of your Android phone's file manager. Then you'll see some data categories in the file manager. You can go ahead and select the type of data that you want to select, for example, photos. And then in the upper right corner, select the menu option, which is represented by those classic three dots. Finally, click the edit option on your screen. After that, select the files you want to transfer, then return to the file manager's main menu. There, you can select the SD card option and then tap on the location you want those files to go. After that, you can just select the move here option. This process can sometimes take a bit of time, but then you'll have moved all your files to that SD card once it is complete and it is as simple as that. This method might look a little bit different for those of you that are using different Android phones, but this tends to be the simplest and easiest way to do it. Okay, now the next method is actually to select that SD card that's in your phone as the default option for saving all of your videos and saving your photos. This way, you don't actually have to move them from one file to another because they will automatically be saved onto that SD card. And again, this is a really simple and easy way to do it. So first of all, head over to your phone and open the camera app. Then after that, make sure you go into the settings option within the camera app. Then just select the storage location when the settings page appears on your screen. It will display the options and make sure you select the SD card or memory card option from that list. Your storage device will be configured as an SD card and after completing the entire procedure, your photos will now automatically save to your SD card from now on and you'll no longer have to worry about moving those photos from your Android phone to the SD card. There we go, two simple methods if you're an Android user on how you can move your photos and videos to the SD card or even have those photos and videos that you take default saved to that SD card, which can save you a lot of time. So hopefully those two methods have helped you out in this video. But what if you're an iPhone user? Because famously iPhones do not accommodate any more storage once you have bought them. Once you've got that storage, you have it forever. But there is a way you can actually get all of those photos from your iPhone on an SD card. And this is a piece of software called Mobile Trans. There are lots of different options that might be available for you to move your photos from an iPhone over to an external hard drive or an SD card. But one of the best options that is nice and quick and is really user friendly is going to be mobile trans. Mobile Trans allows you to transfer iPhone images to an external hard disk with just a few clicks and it allows you to transmit 18 plus different sorts of data between 6,000 plus devices and of course WhatsApp data can be moved between Android and iOS devices. 
You can also export images from your phone to your computer and of course back up 18 plus different types of data as well. And if this sounds good to you, then if you check the description below, there will be a link just there where you can go and download Mobile Trans. So let me teach you how you can move that data from your iPhone to your SD card using Mobile Trans in just a few steps. Firstly, connect the iPhone and SD card to your computer. And once the connection is established, click on the phone transfer option. And then from there, select the export to computer option. Once you've completed the first step, a window will pop up displaying all the types of data that can be transferred from your iPhone. Next, choose the photos you want to transfer to a connected hard drive from the many options that appear. Then after that, just click the export button to proceed and a pop-up window will appear, giving you the option to select a location where you want the transfer file to go. Choose to save your iPhone photos to that connected SD card from earlier on. And that is it. In just a few simple steps, your photos from your iPhone have now been saved over to that SD card. But we are not finished there. There is still another option that we want to show you before the video ends. And it's one that I think you might like. While we think Mobile Trans is probably the best option for you to move your photos over, there is also another option within Windows, which is to use the File Explorer app on Windows that is built in to help you move those images from your iPhone to the SD card. This is a really simple method and doesn't take long at all, so let me just show you how easy it really is with these few simple steps. To get started, insert your card into the card reader and then connect that card reader with the SD card in it to the computer. Then using a USB cable, connect your iPhone to the same computer. And then finally, allow your computer access on your iPhone by tapping the allow button that should pop up on the device. Then you need to select this PC from the drop down menu. Navigate and select the Apple iPhone option. Then select internal storage. On the iPhone, you then need to select DCIM, then click on the next folder. Then pick the pictures to be copied and copy and paste them to the appropriate area on the SD card. And it is, yes, as simple as that. There we go. Some really simple methods there to help you move your photos if you're on an Android phone to an SD card or if you're on an iPhone to an SD card as well. And they're really simple to do. Of course, Mobile Trans is one of the simplest methods that we showed you in today's video. And that can help you move more than just your photos to your computer. And it can also move over your WhatsApp chats from one device to another. If this is something you want to go and download, check the description below and there will be a link to where you can download it. If you enjoyed the video then why not give the video a like and of course if you have any other ways that we can use SD cards to help you save your photos and videos then let us know in the comments below and we'll be happy to try and make another video to accommodate the rest of you with these new methods but subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss a video that we do and we will see you in the next video.